you saying Bray Wyatt's Bray Wyatt's passed away? That comes from Triple H's official Twitter account. Oh my God, man. Man, man, man. I still don't really know what to say. Um, and every time a wrestler dies, it hurts. And it always feels too soon. But man, this one just hurts a little bit more. I am heartbroken. I was shocked when I heard the news. Um, I, yeah, I, re I really don't know what to say, man. I, Bray Wyatt, man, Bray Wyatt. When I think of Bray, all I think about is his laugh and his smile. No matter what we're doing, how excited he was to see me and give me a hug. But yeah, not a sad day. Very sad day. We all love Bray. We love your family. We're gonna miss you, my man. Rest easy, rest in peace. Say hello to Brody. You know, you had kids. You know, and that's the first thing you think about. Especially for me, I lost my dad when I was 10 months old. 10 months. Um, something that I have lived with my whole life. And, and I, 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 I I feel, that's what, that's where my heart goes. Like my heart goes to his kids, his wife, his family, and hopefully uh, there again they can get through this. I know it's going to be hard. I know it's going to be hard and something like this is something that perhaps you can never uh, get through, seriously. But I also want you to think about your loved ones, and I want you to think how precious life is, because something like this, every time it happens, everybody says the same thing. You know, call up a loved one, tell them that you love them, check in on them frequently, you never know what the future holds, you never know what's going to happen. Life is so precious and fragile, things can change in the snap of a finger. So go and do that. The sudden and tragic passing of Wyndham Rotunda shocked the wrestling world. We lost a member of our wrestling family. We couldn't believe the news. Some of us didn't want to. But we had to face reality. So once the initial shock wore off, many emotions began flooding in. And by the time we finished processing everything, we were heartbroken. However, through the pain, we found comfort by learning more about Wyndham Rotunda and his beautiful soul. No, 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 you just, just lean. No, no, lean to your, there you go. Just, oh. just roll, roll with it, roll with it. <laughs> there you go. I got it down. Now. There you go. Crazy chair master. Hey. <laughs> I'm all over this shit. How much is it on Amazon? I don't know. That's time. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Wyndham uh, was a unique cat. He was um, simple yet deeply complex individual and um, I loved him I loved him I loved working with him but mostly I just loved being around him he was always joyful just th these eyes that drew you in and a smile and a laugh and a presence that just made you happy I just keep going back to the conversation I had with Wyndham on the phone when Brody passed a few years ago. Um, he said, uh, I remember this very specifically, he said, you just go hug on that baby girl. Talking about my daughter. And I was just an extra on the outside. And I remember Taker called me in the ring because Bray wanted to try some new moves. And I got to sit in the corner and he gave me that big cannonball over and over and over until Taker was happy with it. I got signed to WWE, went about a year later to FCW down in Florida. And I never expected anybody to remember me. You know, I was there for like a brief 30 seconds or 30 minutes or whatever it was. But I remember Bray or Wyndham, as soon as he saw me, he was like, hey, I remember you. You were, you know, you were at SummerSlam, you know, I did all these moves. And they make me just feel so good, man, because 
just made me so much more like welcomed and that's who he was man he was a guy who just made you feel welcomed Wyndham is an incredible person who we have all loved for years and he is just so friendly and lights up a room and being able to just watch him work and work beside him was just truly truly an honor and it i still say to this day was the most fun i've ever had in my entire career we will continue to celebrate your life and we will continue to light up the sky with fireflies Wyndham Rotunda was special. He truly cared for the people around him. However, he made a far greater impact than he'll ever know. He left an unforgettable legacy that inspired millions of people around the world. Oh my God! That's cool. Oh, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> How you doing? Holy moms. You are huge! Jesus! How much weight, man? Jesus Christ! Wow. Abel got to take us. <laughs> wow, man. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming back, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you so much. God bless man. you guys, man. I'll see you in there. Man. All right. Oh, he remembered your name, bro. That's, oh, he remembered your name. The aura and presence of Wyndham Rotunda was absolutely incredible. Bray Wyatt came into WWE a, a bigger, heavier set guy. As someone growing up who was very much underweight and was always being teased for his weight, it made me think, wow, if he could do it, I could do it. And I think that more than anything is what inspired me about Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt had three very distinct characters with, of course, Bray Wyatt, Funhouse Bray, and The Fiend. It's just so incredibly creative. And I was actually really, really blessed to actually go and fortunate enough to see him live in person myself. I got to see The Fiend's entrance. That entrance was beyond words. I can't even put it into words properly. It was special. I'm gonna remember that moment for the rest of my life. One of my one of my favorite moments from Bray Wyatt was him and Daniel Bryan in a steel cage match on Monday Night Raw. That moment alone made me an even bigger fan of Bray Wyatt. They they did something special that night. The Wyatt family versus the Shield in that crazy six man tag. That thing was awesome. Uh, the uh, John Cena versus The Fiend at WrestleMania, the cinematic match. Oh my God, that's one of my favorite things of wrestling in so long. Bray or Wyndham was probably one of the nicest wrestlers I've ever met. There was a meet and greet and he was like an hour late because of travel issues. But when he got there, he walked the entire line. He just shook everyone's hands. Told him I appreciate you for coming out. He's just the nicest guy. But what's important right here, and this is a thing that I realize over and over again, is the moments that pro wrestling gives us. And Bray Wyatt created quite a few of those. All we know is he absolutely loved professional wrestling and I'm just happy that hopefully he got to live his dream. And he wanted to leave a legacy. That's the only thing that mattered to him. I genuinely think he did leave behind a legacy and I genuinely do think that Wyndham will be looked at as an influence moving forward by a lot of people who want to join and be a part of this industry that we all love. I do. And I hope he knows that. I made my indie singles debut about a month ago. Wondering if you give me any uh, pointers, like what should be my main focus right now. Well, it depends too on what you, how you want to be perceived. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like everyone should understand that, like, this is your chance to be whatever in the world you want to be. Take whatever you're most passionate about and what your real life is about mm -hmm. and make it applicable to that so that people can see the real you shining through. That's yeah. the that's the key.